Good morning, everyone. This is Dr. Lipsa Mishra, working as an assistant professor in Department of Civil Engineering, MITS. So today we will continue with the topic that is water treatment. Previous lecture we have discussed about the sources of water, what is the characteristics of water, and uh, in this lecture, video lecture, we'll uh, discuss about the treatment methods. So in previous lecture, I have already discussed about the steps of the treatment like screening, sedimentation, coagulation, filtration, disinfection. So already finished about the screening part. So today we'll discuss about the uh, sedimentation, coagulation and flocculation. So let's start. So what is sedimentation? So sedimentation is the process of settling down of heavier insoluble particles at the bottom of a liquid is called a sedimentation. So we are, we'll, uh, after, uh, before that I want to say that uh, there are different types of particles of the impurities present in the water that is suspended solids, colloidal solids and dissolved solids. So whatever the suspended solids that tends to uh, settle down in the bottom of the tank so that process is called the settling uh, process is called sedimentation. So this is one of the process through which we can remove the high impurities present in the solution or the water. So all the solids present in the solution settle down in the beaker or the tank and top of the layer of the beaker remains clear. So this is the process of sedimentation. So what is the basic principle of the settling? Whatever the suspended particles were, were the impurities which are in suspension, uh, the suspension that tends to settle down. Uh, bottom of the tank that means that the particles are having specific gravity greater than the water so that tends to settle down by the gravity as soon as the turbulence is retarded by offering the storage so in which uh, a tank the water is retarded or in the basin which is called the flow is retarded is called settling tank and the theoretical average time of which uh, the water is detained in the settling tank is called the detention period. So this is the important part like detention period in uh, there is the average time for which the water is detained in the settling tank. So next we will see what are the types of sedimentation. So basically according to the um, settling um, process the types are the two types plain sedimentation and sedimentation with coagulation. So plain sedimentation is nothing but it is the process of settling down of solids and impurities in the raw water to the bottom of the sedimentation tank or the basin by natural gravity force or uh, we are not applying any chemicals or anything. So it will automatically settle whatever the particles present or the suspension particles or suspended particles or impurities which are uh, specific gravity more than water that tends to settle naturally by the gravity force that is called plain sedimentation and second is sedimentation with coagulation or the coagulants. So in this method what happens we are adding some chemicals to the water. So we have some uh, specific chemicals we will see further what are the chemicals we are mixing in the water with the help of the pumps and for the period of 2 hour per day the suspended solids or the whatever the particles uh, may not settle in the plain sedimentation part that tends to settle down by adding some chemicals and that, that tends to settle down in the bottom of the tank. So this is the basic two types of sedimentation that is plain sedimentation and sedimentation with coagulation. So uh, um, according to that, um, so what are the types of settling we will see. So types of settling may be of four types. Okay, so four types are type one is particles settle individually without interaction of any neighboring particles means we are not adding any chemicals or any addition or anything. So that is the natural uh, process that is uh, by gravity all the particles are settled down. So that is the type one. Second is type 2 that is flocculent particles or the flocculation causes the particles to increase in mass and settle at faster rate. Means after adding some chemicals, uh, some specific chemicals that is the that uh, with 
uh, the particles and the suspended or the colloidal particles make a flock and that process is called flocculation. We will see further. So, flocculation causes the particles increase in the mass and that tends to settle on the bottom of the tank. So, third is the hindered or the zone settling in the figure. You can see the hindered or the zone settling here that flocks are made and the mass of the particles tend to settle as a unit with individual particles remaining fixed position with respect to each other. So, after adding some chemicals type 2 and type 3 is active. Then type 4 is the compression setting or the compression settling the concentration of the particle is so high so that that sedimentation can occur through the compaction of the structure. So, these, these are the different four type of settling uh, which uh, carry out in the settling tank or the sedimentation type. So, next we will see what is the coagulation and flocculation. So, coagulation is nothing but the chemical or the coagulant we are adding to the water and for the water treatment we are or the wastewater treatment we are having some chemicals and we are adding that chemical to uh, so that the uh, whatever the suspended particle may not uh, settle in the set sedimentation uh, process this is the next step or the type 2 sedimentation you can say that is sedimentation with coagulation so coagulation is the process of coagulate uh, means uh, we are applying some chemicals so that uh, we can separate the remain suspended and colloidal solids from the water. So, so now what is the major purpose of, purpose of this coagulation and flocculation in wastewater or the water? So whatever the finely dispersed solids are there or the colloidal, whatever the um, colloidal particles or the impurities present in the water or the wastewater that are stabilized by the negative electric charges. So on the surface so causing them to repel each other so we are adding some chemicals which are having higher valencies or the positive ion charge which are colloidal uh, which can be colliding and to form a large mass and that large mass is called flock and that is called that process is called flocculation so um, what are the uh, basically I told you that uh, what is the coagulation means it is the destabilization of colloids by addition of chemicals that neutralize the negative charges by rapid mixing. So whenever the chemicals we can see the examples like uh, uh, here we are uh, the coagulants majorly usually uh, we use higher valency cations like uh, uh, aluminum 3 plus and iron 3 plus. So only these type of coagulants are adding, um, used for the as a coagulant or the chemicals which are called aluminum sulphate or it's commonly called yeah. like alum which are the chemical formula it's given Al2SO4 whole 3 14 H2O it's a common coagulant we are adding uh, day to day life that alum can be added uh, in the water for the um, coagulation process and ferric sulphate Fe2SO4 whole 3 then ferric chloride and polyaluminum alumin alumin chloride uh, that is in also called PAC or you can say that is uh, copper S. Okay. So, these are the commonly uh, used coagulants for the coagulation process which are having the higher valencies cations, cationic salts. Okay. So, coagulation is uh, very essential and the chemical process which need to be uh, done so that we can uh, remove the suspended and colloidal particles present in the water and wastewater. So, these are the major uh, step of the treatment of water and wastewater. After screening and sedimentation, this coagulation uh, should be done that is, co that is coagulation and flocculation. So, this is all about today's lecture. We'll, next, we will see about the next part that is uh, filtration and uh, the disinfection. So, this is all about today. Thank you.